All right, guys, let's see what we have to play with here today. It's the MSI DKA 790GX Platinum motherboard from MSI. AM2 Plus motherboard with the 790GX chipset right there built on it. Uh, great for your AMD CPUs, it does support the Phenom, and also does support the 140 watt CPUs. Not a whole lot of boards are supporting those yet. Uh, and this is one of the few that are. So you can go all the way up to the highest end Phenoms. You don't have to worry about power, anything like that. Also supports up to eight gigs of DDR2 RAM. Does support up to the 1066 speed as well. So you're covered there with your high speed game, high speed RAM, sorry, for those games. It's a great gaming board, right in the mid range, towards the top end, good all around board. Let me go show you here. There's an interesting technology on this one. There's a lot to cover on this one, so we'll go right down. Down here in the bottom corner of the box is something that you'll see. Dr. Moss, what is that? We had to go look some stuff up for that. It's basically the three things you see there, the Green Power Express Cool and Rapid Boost. Basically what Green Power is, it's a 93.1% efficiency rating on the board as far as power usage. It's also draining about six watts less power than your standard old legacy MOSFETs. Um, as far as power leakage and things like that. So it's a lot more energy efficient, less power loss uh, to just um, function and part of what it's doing than you would normally get. So you're gonna have a lower electric bill is one big thing it means, but it also means that your power supply can be used elsewhere. It doesn't have to be wasted on the board doing things that it isn't really doing. So you got some great things there. The Express Cool uh, comprises these uh, flat heat pipes there with the big copper heat sinks right here on the board. What that is, you got the two, you got the big one here with the heat pipes going back over to the south bridge. That can keep it up to 16 degrees Celsius cooler than what your older stuff can. It also has some little bit of cooling on the MOSFETs and you can see right over here, also back down on here on the board, the Dr. Moss thing, it's a little upside down right now, but that's a big copper heat sink right under there that's cooling some of the MOSFETs there on the motherboard itself. Uh, the last thing about the Dr. Moss is the uh, rapid boost. What that basically is, is they've used a little bit different uh, technology with the MOSFETs. It allows for you to overvolt them a lot more than you would normally be able to, which is gonna let you, uh, let you overclock the board a lot better, keep it stable, keep the board running great, great overclocking, great for when you really need to throw in uh, some of those high-end games. Let's go down and take a look at the board itself down here. Um, zooming in down, there we go. Uh, you do have eight USBs. You got uh, two, two, and two right there. Uh, got a lot of connections there. Everything's going to USB, so the more the better these days. Do have the older legacy PS2 port as well, just in case you're still using it. Uh, get off of it, go to USB, but in case you're still using it, there it is. Uh, also have support for both your old monitors and your new ones with the VGA and DVI ports on there, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff there. Got your HDMI port, go grab yourself a Blu-ray drive. You can play your Blu-ray movies on your HD TV. This one does have the HD 3300 onboard graphics, um, which does support Blu-ray. It's got the Avivo technology from HTI, A, sorry, ATI, which is in all the new Sony HD TVs. Got threw me off there. Uh, got your optical output here, seven channel, surround sound, pure digital output. One nice feature here, there is your eSATA port. That's a whole lot faster than USB, a whole lot faster than Firewire. Great for your hard drives. If you need to transfer tons of data, eSATA is the way to go with it. Right over here, there is an old Firewire if you're still using that. Or, great thing is, if you're using a uh, digital camcorder to tr shoot all your videos, that has to go through Firewire, so you're covered there. And right there, there's your gigabit LAN port. It is gigabit 10, 100, 1000, so you got a great speed on that. There's your standard uh, analog audio ports. Still using those, you got those on there, great to have. Let's flip it down this way a little bit. Two PCI Express X16 slots. The board does support Crossfire X, as well as Hybrid Crossfire. Hybrid Crossfire, as you know, you can use the uh, onboard video, as well as an HD uh, 34 or 3500 series card. So that way you're not wasting the onboard video if you just want to go with one card. You don't quite have the space, time, money, effort, what you want to put for whatever it is to go ahead and get two cards, then you're still covered. You can still use Crossfire, sorta, and get a little bit of boost from the onboard video towards your video card. Two uh, right here, these small ones, these are your PCI Express X1 slots. 
These are gradually gonna be replacing the older PCI slots, which you see right here, for things like sound cards, things like network cards, if you wanna add an extra gigabit LAN in there, if you need better sound than what's already on built on board here, or if you wanna add a wireless card, you got your choice of PCI Express X1 or PCI. So you got some choices here coming around on the side of the board. Nice thing that you're starting to see in a lot of boards now coming out. These are um, reset buttons for your clear CMOS reset and power there. Rather than having to fiddle around with jumpers, you got a nice easy button to hit. Tells you right there on it exactly what it is so you don't have to go and figure everything out. Go ahead and look at the front of the board here. Uh, these are four more SATA ports as well as a fifth one right there. These great angle on them, they go right into the side. The cables aren't hanging across the top of your motherboard. They're just right off to the side and out to the front. Same here with your flop, um, sorry, your IDE, the floppies for the back on the board. But your IDE is right there. That keeps that big ribbon cable out, keeps it from obstructing your airflow. 20 pin connect, or sorry, 24 pin connector. Other than that, let's uh, go ahead there and take a look at um, what comes with it. Oh, before I do that as well, do need to mention those SATA ports. The board does have a nice built on RAID controller, supports RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and 0 plus 1. So you've got your data striping, you've got your parity got your distributed parity blocks and you've also got a uh, striping plus mirroring on there let's take a look at what this thing comes with after uh, going back there and uh, talking about the rate arrays which I almost forgot to do do have two crossfire connectors in the board uh, or sorry in the box only took out one because uh, well it looks basically the same both of them they're identical not exactly sure why they gave you two I can only guess it's in case you lost one because huh, there's only two uh, PCI Express slots on there you can only do two graphics cards one of the nice thing that they do give you in there, this big old bulky thing, this is an extra USB. Uh, in case your case maybe only has two on the front, you wanna add two extra ones, you can add this right to the back, it just plugs into the internal header. Nice dongle fits right on the back of your case, gives you two more USBs. Something nice to have, especially with everything uh, going towards more USBs, more and more uh, these days, people use a lot more devices as well. Good, always nice to have some extra ones there. You've seen the ASUS Quick Connectors, well, MSI's got basically their own version. There's a little baggie with a whole bunch of these different connectors, things for USB, things for your uh, main board jumpers, where your power switch, power LED, reset, hard drive, all that stuff plugs right into the board. Got these nice quick connectors here. About all I got on the board here. Guys, if you have any more questions, you can check Q&A on the website. Whatever you wanna do, guys, I'm gonna have to get out of here. I'm Linus, I'll catch you guys next time. Alright guys, for more information on the MSI DKA790GX Platinum motherboard, head right over to CompUSA.com, type M452-6044 right in the search bar, or you can call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.